Hi everyone, Melissa here at cloudmom.com. So we all talk so much and hear so much about weaning from the breast and weaning from the bottle, but another big thing that we moms and dads have to wean our babies and toddlers from is pacifiers. So I got a question from a viewer on Cloud Mom about this and I thought I would answer the question in today's, in today's vlog. So Regan writes in about her 17 month old and says the following, reading from my notes here, my husband wanted to get rid of the pacifier at 12 months but that, that is what she says our pediatrician told us to do. However, I thought that was too young. She doesn't want to go cold turkey now. Any suggestions or tips? So just to start first, I did not actually see with my children that they became heavily dependent on the pacifier. I used it more for emergencies. However, they are all thumb and finger suckers, and that is coming with its own problems for me because they all have dental issues. So that's just an aside. So don't feel bad about the fact your baby's still on the pacifier at 17 months. I don't think that's a big deal. My nine-year-old is still sucking his fingers, okay? And believe me, I'm paying the price. So how do you get rid of this pacifier? It sounds to me like 17 months is a pretty good time to do it because the AAP does say that after the age of two, use of the pacifier can cause dental problems. So what do you do? Okay, here are three suggestions. Again, reading from my notes here. Number one, distract. For a 17-month-old, you can easily try to distract your baby or toddler with a new toy or another activity. They're going to come over and say, pass it, because they've gotten addicted to it. And you're going to be like, Elmo time or whatever, and just try to keep moving them around and getting them away from this habit of always sucking on the pacifier. Number two, introduce a transitional object or a lovey, a stuffed animal, a blanket, something they can attach to, and ideally, something they can sleep with safely which will help them in this process of self-soothing. So whereas they were kind of getting used to like settling down with the pacifier for naps, if they have a safe little blanket with them that's okay for them to have, make sure it's safe, that can help them, you know, get through so they're not so attached. The pacifier, number three tip, is the cold turkey, the bye-bye binky party, the pacifier fairy party. I know people that have tied ribbons around their pacifiers and like sent them off with a kite or something like that. So. That is the cold turkey thing, but some people found they needed to do that to have this sort of traditional big epic event, and then their child bid farewell to the pacifier, and that was it. It has worked. So those are some ideas we have here. Don't feel bad about this. This is like a really common and sticky and difficult problem for parents. I've heard about it many, many times. I've had friends tell me, you know, Melissa, I'm putting my baby to bed in the crib with like 20 pacifiers so that when she wakes up, she just finds one and doesn't wake us up. And I'm like, wow. So this is something that is very common. Other moms, if you have ideas on how to wean a toddler from the pacifier, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching cloudmom.com and see you next time.